In this video, I'd like to explain about telepathy. What is telepathy? Well, it's really simple. What happens when you put two impasse in the same room? What do you get? You get telepathy. Because that's what telepathy really is. Telepathy is empathy. So, the more that we expand ourselves out, the more open that we are, the more we can sense. It's the sensing, the openness, that is telepathy. Now, telepathy is a natural state of communication. Uh, there's different levels of te telepathy, depending on what dimension that you're in, or what level you're on in this universe, many other universes, or whatever aspects of creation. Because everything is connected and shared. It's just connected and sharedness. It is the everything, the all that is. Your idea of heaven. There can't be anything more because it's all that is. It's all shared. It's all connected. This is what telepathy is. Now, in three-dimensional Earth here, it is the densest reality game, reality in all of creation. This is why we use language which is not a natural form of communication at all. But in this reality, this is uh, how it is. Because in the three-dimensional reality Earth, we are very closed in. And once in a while, we get little senses of these uh, things of uh, that you may know what other people are thinking or saying. Sometimes at the same time, you get, if you think about a friend or something, they all of a sudden show up of uh, different things like that. But when you're really closed off, it's very hard to use telepathy in a three-dimensional reality world because the density is so low, your consciousness doesn't really get a chance to get out of the box too much. So, so that's basically what telepathy really is, is just an opening up. And this is what a lot of people do when they are channeling. They're actually connecting to... Um, their higher selves to the you know at the everything all that is and just opening up to this idea and this is how they're able to um, channel stuff which actually it's it's uh, uh, like telepathy and that's what channelers are really doing and you you can do this all of us can do it it's a natural thing to be telepathic now in hypnosis I connect say with eight dimensional Arcturians or different levels of ETs and other universes and many other aspects of creation which all of you are connected to this is what you know here on earth um, your your um, this being this human body is only a small little avatar of the many uh, things that you're doing all at the same time you're very um, you know you just don't die and go to heaven you're already in heaven, everything is a part of heaven, everything is shared, and we're all busy doing many, many different things and sharing it with each other constantly. And this keeps everything becoming boring and stale. So, the other thing is, you can try um, telepathy with animals. Um, when you look into an animal's eyes, just look at the animal, hold the animal in the head, or just look in the, the eyes of the animal, and you say, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're amazing, and like mean it. The animal can feel that. They can understand that um, on a limited level, but you'll be amazed how you can communicate with animals and nature by doing that. And, it, and when you start to become more... Uh, telepathic, you'll actually start to sense that there's you know, a lot of connectedness of different energies within, say, animals and trees and, and uh, you, know, you know, planets communicating with each other. You know, you look at them and like they're big solid rocks in space, but are they really? Now, I have met half a million people in my life and I've had a lot of uh, telepathic connections with people. I tried to teach telepathy 25 years ago, but people really weren't open to this idea. But they are now. They're very, very open. And when I meet people who are very um, 
empathic. They have a lot of empathy. They'll say, I'm very empathic. I can really sense and feel other people. When they talk to me, I know instantly everything that they're going to say before they say it. They can say five minutes, they can talk around in circles, but they just say it to me instantly, just like that. And so this is how, um, if you want, uh, if you feel you're telepathic, as we ascend to a higher five-dimensional consciousness from a three-dimensional consciousness, what happens is you do start to sense these more things and people become more intuitive, uh, more clairvoyant, you can say, more telepathic. But what you'll find is um, the best way to learn uh, or improve your uh, telepathy is to hang around with more empathic people. Set, stop and sense and feel them. And the more you do this, the more this uh, te telepathy will grow. And sometimes it can grow really, really quickly. And sometimes it can just slowly develop more. And when I connect, say, with eight-dimensional Arcturians under um, um, hypnosis, or I just naturally I connect to them all the time, um, it is a little bit of a stretch because when I, because they are more of like um, you connect with, I'll say one, a thousand, a hundred thousand, a million of them simultaneously, and it's a little bit of a stretch sometimes. It's, I'm getting used to it. Again, um, is to be collected to to more of that large collectiveness of of, of on a higher level of telepathy. Uh, on Earth, it's more of an uh, when you start to develop telepathy, it's more on an individual basis, and you know, it, you know, a few people at a time, and uh, and uh, another thing is, I know when I was um, younger, I make a lot of contacts uh, uh, with people, or they would make contacts with me, especially because I was a younger guy. And because I'm a half million people in my life, I'd come across, say, certain women, and they would, uh, say, be thinking about me, uh, and then they, they'd be thinking about me in a, um, say, sexual way, and uh, sort of fantasizing about you. Um, you know, I'm sure you don't understand what I mean. And sometimes that would be very intense from some of them. I would, I have to, I'd sense it whenever they would, say, be thinking about me in that way, because it was very intense. And some women would have that, and uh, without them really understanding that they did. And um, so they're, you know, you know, I could feel that their focus of the intensity of their passion of the feeling. So that's you know. The idea of having, you know, clairvoyant, psychic, sex, you know, telepathic sex type thing. Just because sometimes that's something people can feel as well. And um, so anyway, I'm just trying to explain the idea of telepathy, but it is empathy. That is telepathy. You don't have to say, oh, I'm going to try to be telepathic. No. Have more empathy. Be more. And open up and just feel more. And, and that your telepathic abilities will really develop really quickly, especially if you develop, if you hang around more and more empathic people. It will really develop very quickly. If not, your intuition um, and sort of uh, feeling and sensing things, um, things will just come to you about the person and things like that a lot quicker. So I'm just giving you pointers on how to, uh, say, develop that. I can have more of a course in these things, but. And I have many other videos about manifestation, alternate realities, creation of the universe, um, uh, all kinds of different videos explaining about all these different things. So I hope you watch many of my other videos. I hope they help you understand things. Thank you very much.